of life, contributed largely by science, which helps us to improve all the time. Now, we are in the 21st century, and the 21st century is a very, by comparison to the past, a very sophisticated uh, century. There are lots of things which we have, which we take for granted, as usual, which were not found before. But you can be sure that in the future, they will regard us as very primitive people. We are really backwards. By the standards of the 22nd century, the 23rd century. So if we accept that things will improve all the time, the process of learning does not stop in the university. Learning is a lifetime work occupation. You have to continue to learn and upgrade yourself. Otherwise, you'll be irrelevant. Nobody will find you useful. You may know something after graduating from UT, uh, <coughs> University of Technology Petronas. You may consider yourself as uh, knowledgeable. You have your first degree, your master's, your PhD, and you feel that you are qualified. But believe me, in the future, you will be regarded as underqualified. Unless, of course, you learn. You keep on increasing, upgrading the knowledge that you have with you, so as to deal with the new environment that will develop around us. So do not regard university education and your, your degrees as the end of the quest for knowledge. The quest for knowledge must go on all the time. Uh, here I would like to diverge a bit because I am in disagreement with the government. I had introduced uh, the teaching of science and math in English when I was still the prime minister. You know, prime ministers have lots of power. And they can insist on doing things which other people do not like. That's why I was able to do all those nasty things because I was prime minister. Now, of course, I'm not the prime minister. I have been dismissed. <laughs> but before I was dismissed, before I gave up being prime minister, I introduced the teaching of science and math in English. Now, we are nationalists. We, especially the Malays, we are nationalists. We want to project ourselves. We want to show that we are as civilized as anybody else, that we are as progressive as anybody else, that we have the capacity to improve ourselves, to educate ourselves. And we can do this in our own language. But let's be uh, truthful. We need to learn other languages in order to increase the amount of knowledge that is available to us. Simply because most new knowledge are not generated by us is gener generated by other people. And if we want to increase our knowledge, we have to know what other people have introduced into the field of knowledge. And they do not introduce this in the Malay language. So if you want to learn something new discovered elsewhere, you must have the knowledge of that language. But fortunately, this world is uh, sort of uh, enchanted with English, and most people learn English and study in English, and most of the new knowledge comes to us in English. And if we say, well, we should translate it into our language, I find that not practical. To translate anything, a new knowledge, to, from one language to another requires expertise in the two languages 
and expertise in the subject to be translated. Now, science... Thank you. Obviously, you agree with me. Thank you. Please tell the government. <laughs> you can learn geography or history uh, and other subjects in your own language because the amount of knowledge does not expand very rapidly. A country that is that shape will remain that shape for years and years. They don't change. Although Singapore is changing because they're doing a lot of reclamation. But otherwise, the borders of countries remain the same. The direction north, south, east and west remain the same. And uh, the distances between points and, and are the same. They don't change very much. Geography doesn't change very much. History doesn't change. If there was a war in 1914, you cannot say, oh, it didn't happen in 1914, it happened in 1916. You cannot say that. The fact is that there was a war in 1914, and it lasted for four years, 1918, before they decided to stop killing each other. But those are historical facts. They don't change. But science is different. Science changes almost every day. People are doing research all the time, and they are publishing the results of their research. And their research not only introduces new things, new discoveries, but sometimes they prove that old theories, old scientific laws were no longer valid, that they, can, they are actually are wrong and needs to be replaced with new laws every day. Every day, somewhere in the world, somebody is writing something about his discoveries, the results of his research. And they write this down in papers. Because if you do research, you must put it down in, on paper, because otherwise, you cannot let anybody know. Uh, you cannot always be talking to people. You have to put it down in paper. Yes, you may be a Korean, or you may be a Japanese, or may be a German. But strangely, almost all these people put down their findings in English. So every day, new papers on scientific discoveries are being printed, published, and spread. Now, what do we do? We cannot read English. If we cannot read English, we cannot understand what the new discovery is all about. Yes, we can say, let uh, somebody translate it for us. To translate, you need a man who speaks, who, who's fluent in English, in Malay, and in the subject that he is going to translate. How many of them are there who has these three qualifications? And even if they have these three qualifications, they are not going to spend their life translating it for us. You wouldn't. I'm quite sure when you graduate, would you spend your time translating? Very dull. <laughs> but if you learn it in English, you immediately have access to new knowledge. Then, of course, you are up to date. You know what is the latest with regard to electronics, with regard to nanoscience, with regard to space, and many, many other things that before was not part of the knowledge that you have acquired, or the knowledge you acquired were no longer correct, and they are replaced by new knowledge. So it is important, therefore, that the teaching of science be in English. And Mathematics. Mathematics also, it doesn't change, but new ways of using mathematics are being introduced. And you need mathematics to calculate. Supposing you are going to launch a rocket from here to carry, to carry Sheikh Mohammed, what, what, uh, our, our astronaut, 
you know our astronaut he he is going to go to the international space station iss and you want to launch it with him at the end of a rocket from somewhere uh, in Kazakhstan, Baikonur. You have to calculate a whole lot of things because the Earth is moving. The Earth is still tilting. The Earth is moving in space. It's not static. While we are here, of course, we feel very stable. But actually, we are moving. You don't feel it. But we are moving. The world is moving. It's not that the sun uh, rises in the east and sets in the west. It's just that the globe is turning. And you are going to launch something from a, a, a site which is moving. <laughs>